A state lawmaker is now taking a stand about private animal shelters in our state, saying that too many places that are supposed to be helping are actually on the borderline of animal cruelty. And News Ace Jason Newton has more on the push to change the law for the safety of animals. The Republican leader of the state House of Representatives, Themis Claritus, says conditions at the SPCA of Monroe are so bad, she now wants stricter state laws to regulate all private animal shelters. We need to change our laws and our regulations to make sure that not only they are strict enough, but our judicial system is enforcing them. Claritus stopped by the Monroe shelter in search of a new cat. She was told every single feline was infected with the respiratory issue and then changed her mind. After speaking with town officials, she quickly found out the place had a notorious reputation. Monroe officials say at one point the shelter was known to house more than 80 animals, even though it was zoned for only 29. They complain that state statutes have only basic minimum standards of care. It's such a general statute for the cruelty to animals. You just need to provide food, water, shelter, medical care as needed. Claritus says Frederick Acker, who is affiliated with the Monroe Shelter, has been convicted on dozens of counts of animal cruelty in separate locations. He doesn't own the Monroe Shelter, and loopholes allow him to continue making money in the animal shelter business. These private shelters um, are not licensed, and so therefore there's no real requirement for oversight. Political leaders like Claritus say the state needs to find those loopholes in the law and close them quickly for the safety of the innocent animals involved. The problem is the way the laws are written. So these good people are doing their job. He's probably following the laws just by the skin of his teeth. Jason Newton, News 8. Well, we stopped by the SPCA of Monroe Shelter to try to get a response to this story. A volunteer did come to the door, but she said she was not able to talk to the media.